there's so many mysterious parts of this game, Gratamanji, finding ways to be grateful for God. I mean, some are important to getting to the next level, and some are just cool. Yeah, like, what do you mean? Well, I really like these jungle cats, for instance. They are so cute and fascinating, but not sure if they are important. Okay, here's my take. If God made them, then they are good and then they are important. And we can thank God for making such great, wonderful items like cats, and we can thank him and then we can celebrate. That makes sense. And I can celebrate that God has made cats with my cat dance. <laughs> What about you? What do you like about this game? Well, I'm glad you asked. I have been fascinated by these monkeys that you can see right here. They seem to be pretend and yet indigenous to this game. So I know that God made these monkeys and I know that he loves them. And I know then that they are important. We just have to figure this out and put it all together. Greetings, my gratitude seekers. Are you ready for level two of the Gratamanji game? Yes, bring it on. We are so thankful for God, his love for us, and the amazing, beautiful things that he has made. We have a lot of gratitude for God. Yes, he loves us so much and gave us his son, Jesus, and will never leave us or stop loving us. With God, we can accomplish all good things. Yes, we sure can. Let's go. All wise comments and a good way to approach your next level. Your mission this time, if you choose to accept it, is to look for ways to celebrate what God has done for you. The key word is celebrate. What you seek for is on the other side of this very flimsy and breakable bridge that you must now cross. Beware of the monkeys that lurk about you. I recommend choosing your tools wisely. Oh, that's easy. If you mention monkeys, my tool is a bunch of bananas. They are yummy and full of potassium, and monkeys and I share something in common. We both like bananas, and God made bananas, and we can be thankful for them. Good thinking. Now, if we're talking about celebrating, then I choose sparkly dance shoes or a disco ball. Hmm. Okay, I choose the disco ball. I know that God enjoys it when we celebrate how much we love him. Remember, when in these strange times of confinement and struggle, celebrate the good that God has given us. Now, best be on your way. so big and vast and the current is so strong this is going to be impossible to cross it well this is a little scary we are deeper in the jungle we are definitely taking a risk yep but take a look do you see all the jungle cats and monkeys this must be an important watering home for them Hey, now remember, we are to thank God in every circumstance, no matter what. So let's pray, all right? Dear God, we thank you for our situation here. We thank you for monkeys and bridges and bananas and cats and rocks. Wait, did I say rocks? Oh, look! Thank you, God, for rocks. Hmm. these musical instruments that came flying out of nowhere and the bible verse 
2 Samuel 6, 12 to 22. Let's look it up. Oh, this is the Old Testament. It has to do with King David when he brought back the Ark of the Covenant from Jerusalem. Wait, 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 I know this, I know this. David was so excited that he had the privilege of bringing the Ark of the Covenant back to Jerusalem. Now the Ark, it was this wooden box, it was covered in gold. And in a special way, it carried the presence of God inside of it for the Israelites. Well, David was so overwhelmed with gratitude and excitement that he actually danced and played music for God. And he used musical instruments and he played with his heart and soul. Like he didn't care what anyone thought. He just was praising God with all his might. It was awesome. He was paying respect to God. Over there. I think it, it sounds is. like it's near that important vast watering hole. Oh! This is looking ominous. What should we do? We've used up all our bananas. I think we could be in trouble. Well, either they're happy to see us or they want to eat us. I say we follow King David's lead. We celebrate these creatures God made and start dancing. We are dancing to show God respect and our love for him. You know what I say? I say, let's celebrate. <laughs> just praying to God and just thinking of all the good that is around us that God has given us it is amazing it's life-changing it is and you know what I'm thinking I'm gonna start doing this every morning I'm just gonna thank God for the gift of that day and no matter what happens I'm gonna be thankful because God's with me and from King David we learned that the devotion and reverence and such great respect David had for God that we can be that way for God too, and not care if we look silly. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow, we learned so much today. Sure did. But we also learn a lot from our Bible memory verse. Psalm 136, one. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. And you know what else I learned today? Besides how much God loves us, you've got some sweet moves. No way. Yes way. Can you teach me that one? You know, the cat one? Of course. Okay, how does that go? Oh, brother. We'll see you next week. Bye from Gratitude for God.